In this video for the Zora 9000 Plus combo receiver, we're going to talk a little bit about the media player. So to access the media player functionality, all you have to do is uh, press the menu button uh, and just use your arrow button to go down to this REC sub-menu. Press the OK button and then just highlight the media player and press OK. Now, obviously you have to have like a memory stick or an external hard drive or something like this plugged into the USB port on the combo receiver to access this functionality. Uh, but once you have that done then, um, some of the things you can do with this are actually quite impressive. So the first thing that I'm going to take you through is how you navigate the menus, okay? Because it may not be overly apparent how you do it. If you look at the top there, you can see you have music, image, video, record. But if you were to use the arrow buttons, you can't flick through them, okay? So that might be a bit confusing for people. What you actually have to do is use the zero button. So you can see as I press the zero button, I just flick through the options okay so the next thing to understand and this is the case on most um, media players on kind of um, you know on combo receivers and satellite boxes and things like this is you can't look at everything at the same time and what I mean by that is you can't see videos you might have downloaded from the internet and your music files and your photos and your recorded programs at the same time you can only go in a sort of in a you know a video mode a recorded mode a music mode or an image mode so just as an example of that what i'll show you is i have several things on this um hard drive including some tv recordings um some videos some video clips some music and a few photos okay so if i go if i i'm on video mode now as you can see because it's highlighted red at the top and if I just press the down button on the remote control and then just press the OK button, it'll go in here. And what it'll do is it will see whatever's on the hard drive, but will only show you what's a video. So if I went into pics here, there's no videos inside there. But if I went into flicks, there's a lot of little video clips that we use here for testing at TV Trade.ie. So interestingly anyway, most of the things that I've tried to play with this, it will play, and it seems to play them fairly well. But the, the most common one um, on the internet that people would be downloading and things like this, um, I'll just go through this now one sec. Uh, I'm trying to find it. I can't remember what I called it. Oh, there we go, XFID MP3. This is by far and away the most common format that people would download um, files on the internet or you know films or video clips and things like this is xvid mp3 and it's an avi now the thing to understand what people often say and query us on they say oh you said this box can play avis and it doesn't well it does actually avi is only a container so you just think of it like a bucket it could have anything in it so inside the, inside the avi there's this thing called an xvid video codec and an mp3 audio codec and that's what makes up the picture and the sound in the film okay so you can have a multitude of different audio and video codecs within this avi container so anyway the most common one on the internet is called xvid and the most common one for uh, the sound is mp3 so a lot of boxes can't actually play this but this box the zora 9000 plus combo receiver can and to do that all you have to do is simply highlight it and just press the ok button and there it is starting off to play there okay so just to stop playback then all you have to do is, is you know press the stop button now i have a, a drive here that i would have maybe 30 or 40 different um video clips on that i would have converted myself into different formats and stuff like this and i have to say the vast majority of what i actually try to play on this it will play so the only thing that i should say as um something to be aware of you should never buy any combo receiver, whether from us or anybody else, based on the media player functionality. It's not a media player, okay? A standalone media player will play far more than any combo receiver or anything like that, okay? I don't care what anyone tells you, that's the truth. So, because they're specifically designed for this. The media player functionality on a combo receiver or any sort of these receivers is kind of just an add-on, a bonus functionality, and that you should be taking it as that. But having said that, the array of files that this can actually play is actually very, very impressive. There was only a couple of weird ones that I would have converted myself that it couldn't play. 
So uh, just be aware of that anyway. And just from my point of view, from the testing I've done anyway, I found it fairly impressive anyway. So to get out of that, all you have to do is hit the exit button, then go back up and that's fine. So if you want to go on to a different sub menu then, just use the zero buttons and you can go to music. Use the arrow button down and again see if I go into flicks it's not going to find anything because there's no music in there. But if I go into tunes I have a couple there. So I'm just going to play that now. now I better turn up the volume. So hopefully you can hear that there. So it does play, it plays, you know, a few different types of uh, music files and stuff like that. So um, that's a handy little feature. I'm just going to exit out of that sub menu now again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to zero. To, I'm going to go over to the images. Okay. So just to show the photos. So again, if I just went tunes, you know, there's no pictures in there. So I can't see any. So I hope you get the gist of what I'm trying to explain here. That, you know, there's an image mode, a video mode, a music mode and a recorded TV programs mode. So you need to be in each specific one for whatever you're trying to do. So I'm just going to get into pics there and you can see there now I'm just going to play that. Now these are only little small images of a few dogs or something that I got off the internet just to as um, a sample. But if you had a uh, you know, if you're taking photos on a camera and stuff like that, uh, the resolution would obviously be far higher and, uh, you know, it would be taking up the vast majority of the screen. But that's basically it, uh, just to show you some of the things it can do. So, and then just to get out of the whole media player aspect, then you just hit exit a few times and you're back to normal TV. So that's basically an overview of the media player functionality on the Zora 9000 Plus combo receiver.